Good evening and welcome to today's video. Probably going to be another one of those short ones because we're in the early stages of the Commonwealth Games. British Empire Games as they were then known. Today the third edition of these British Empire Games as they're now called the Commonwealth. But yeah, well, it, it evolves. Third games are in Sydney, Australia. And they were held from February 5th to the 12th. Wait, February? Isn't that winter? Well, not Australia, it's late summer. Forget we were on the opposite end of the hemisphere. In case you didn't know. Unless you're living in Australia, both lived in Canada and Australia. Then you know quite well. I know a few friends who have lived both here in us in Canada and Australia. I will tell you, winters there are pretty different than they are here. So, but I'm rambling here. That's not what we're, we're talking about. We're talking about the 1938 British Empire Games, hosted by Sydney, Australia, from February 5th to 12th. 15 nations, 15. That's one five. 15 nations and 464 athletes competed in 71 events. It was timed to coincide with Sydney's sesquicentenary. Say that. Try say that again. Sesquicentenary. The 150th birthday of Sydney, Australia. Sydney's sesquicentenary. Sesquicentenary. Nah, I'm dropping it. Yeah, so silly. The Sydney Cricket Ground was the main venue, as well as the Sydney Cricket Ground. Yeah, it just said the Sydney Cricket, Cricket Ground was the main venue, as well as the Sydney Sports Ground, the North Sydney Olympic Grounds, and Henson Park. Australian Decima Norman. I'm not sure that's how you just pronounce it. The Seven Norman wins five gold medals in track and field. Ceylon. Who? Mm -hmm. Well, they're now known as Sri Lanka. I had to look it up too. Ceylon, C-E-Y-L-O-N, makes its first appearance, and I believe Fiji made its first appearance too. I'll have to double check that though. The games were opened by John Loader, the second Baron Wakehurst. Yeah, okay. I don't know how many athletes can in the sand. Apparently, they sent like 86 in the first one in 1930. Convenient considering they're at home. Anyways, Australia finished first in goals and first overall. 25 goals to go with 19 silver and 22 bronze for 66 total. <coughs> Canada was second in overall and third in gold. Well, England was second in gold and third overall. And Canada had 13 gold, 16 silver, 15 bronze for 44 total. Well, England had 15 gold, 15 silver, and 10 bronze for 40 total. So, yeah, South Africa had South Africa had 26 total, and New Zealand had 25 total. And there's your top five. He's already four minutes in, and we just. Got to the end. There's a bit of rambling in there too, so. So if you see these odd dates for these games in Australia, it's like, well, you gotta consider when well, maybe February, like this case February, or maybe winter here is summer down there. Anyways, we're, well, we're kind of gonna be on the southern hemisphere again for the next games. Tomorrow being the 1950 games in Auckland, New Zealand. Yes, I said 1950. World War II got in the way. Started about a year after. A little more than a year after these Commonwealth 